Hello everyone, welcome in Cool IT Help. In this tutorial session, we are going to connect MySQL from Eclipse IDE. So this is the instance right now running on my system. This is uh, MySQL version 8. And now guys, just open your Eclipse IDE. On the top menu item, click on this window option. Then go here at the perspective, open perspective and click on this other option you will see this window inside this window we have to click on this database development then come back here click open and uh, very soon you will see a uh, tab data source explorer on the left hand side uh, if this is not open so again go to the window show view then select data source explorer now guys we will create a connection so click on this do a right click now click new and this connection profile window will appear in front of you. So we have the many options to connect different kind of databases. Now we will select MySQL. At this place in this text field we have to give the name of the connection. Suppose you are going to create multiple connection for different databases. So you can give the name. Now click next. So guys at this window you will see uh, here we have to give the driver connection details click on this icon and uh, this new driver definition window will appear in front of you now we have to select the driver this is mysql jdbc 5.1 now as you can see on the top this is showing error unable to locate the connector jar so this connector jars will be downloaded and then we have to add inside this place so what you have to do just check the uh, description section and you will get this link this is the official website download link for mysql connector now copy this link and open your chrome browser or any browser that you have on your machine and uh, put in address bar press enter and then you will see this page here we have a uh, two drop downs so we have to select the appropriate version of the mysql and then in the second drop down we have to select platform independent option okay soon you will see two kind of choices first one is for the mac and the second one is for the windows so we will go with this one and you can see the size is not big this is only 4.5 MB in size. Now click on this download button. Soon this will be downloaded on your system. Now we will put it at a safest location and we need to extract it because we have a connector jar inside it. Now we will go inside this folder. So guys, this is the jar. Okay, this jar path we have to add inside the Eclipse. Now just copy the path, go back here. And now you can see the driver name you have a choice you can uh, rename the driver name okay now come add this tab jar list click on this button and now select that jar and uh, this will be added right here and click ok now this is set now guys in the next step we have to uh, provide some connection URL settings as you can see these are the properties first one database second is URL username and password now we will look inside the URL so here in the URL everything is fine at the time of installation you have given the port name because by default MySQL take the port 3306 so this will be running at this port and now I'm just opening the MySQL so I will show you which database I am going to connect with okay provide the root password and you will be enter inside this MySQL workbench on the left hand side uh, I have just clicked on this schemas and uh, the available database will appear right here if you have created your own database so you have to just pick the name of that database now go back inside the Eclipse at this place 
give the name of the database that's it now in this field you can give name to this database connection or this instance suppose you have a two three databases and you are working on it so you can give the name in this database field in the last provide the password that you have set at the time of installation of mysql now just check this box save password and now click on this test connection okay guys we got the success and the connection is successful the settings are working perfectly fine now we will click on the next now click on the finish within the second you will see connection is established and this will appear on the left hand side here in this data source explorer tab now i'm expanding the schema you can see this is the name that we have given in that properties box now i'm expanding the tables you can see all the tables are available right here now i will show you how to run query it's very easy so i will execute one select query now click on this icon this will open the sql query executor window so here it is now just type simple select a statement select a star from i am looking one of the table in which some records are there this is session okay guys we have a shortcut keyboard shortcut or you can do the right click so execute all or simply press control alt x to run this query and very soon you will see the results here on this tab you can see right now we have six records only in this table so guys this is the way you can execute the your uh, queries now you can export the complete database to a file and then you can restore somewhere else if you want to migrate somewhere so this is the way now we will see how to export the data from table right click select data extract and this window will appear in front of you so you can give the file name and select the uh, save location with this help help of this browse button i'm going to save on the desktop just giving any random name xyz and now we can select the type dot csv it is just save it's so simple to work with mysql inside the eclipse id you can see this will show you how many records has been saved inside the csv so guys this is the way you can access your mysql database from the eclipse id i hope this is much better solution than installing any other sql client i hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful and guys don't forget to subscribe my channel and for now thanks for watching cool it help